There were approximately 82,000 people diagnosed with bladder cancer in 2023, and the majority of them have non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, or NMIBC. As a urologic oncologist specializing patients with bladder cancer, I've seen firsthand the heavy burden of living with this disease in my practice. The standard treatments for high-risk NMIBC involves BCG treatments into the bladder, but the reality is that 30 to 40 percent of patients will be unresponsive to these treatments. Unfortunately, there is currently no consensus on a gold standard of care following appropriate treatment with BCG. Usually, the most viable option for these patients in this scenario is radical cystectomy or complete removal of the bladder, which can have a drastic impact on patients' quality of life. Many of my patients echo these concerns about how radical surgery for their bladder cancer may impact them, changing how they work, travel, or interact with loved ones. Even patients who have initial treatment and success with BCG will require follow-up visits for surveillance and monitoring, as some will experience disease recurrence or progression and will need repeat treatments. But fortunately, the treatment landscape is evolving. In 2018, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration released a new set of guidelines that define criteria for BCG unresponsive patients and helped create clinically meaningful endpoints in clinical trial design. Since then, we've seen the development and approval of three new therapies for BCG unresponsive disease, along with many ongoing clinical trials. But we can't stop there. As a scientific community, we should be working to improve patient education and access to potential new treatments for bladder cancer. With a continued focus on patients and treatment-related quality of life, I'm confident the scientific community can help address these existing unmet needs in bladder cancer and ultimately improve outcomes for patients everywhere.